A nearly 700-kilometer-long wall cuts off the occupied West Bank from Israel, and it has long featured graffiti drawing attention to the conflict. Now, an Australian artist known as Lush Sucks has also joined in, but his works carry a different theme. One is a less-than-flattering mural of U.S. President Donald Trump, while another takes aim at Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg. People here in Bethlehem are generally welcoming of artists like him, but some are concerned they may be using the wall simply as a canvas to promote their own work. I feel that when they have empathy for us, but perhaps the Palestinian people don't want them to come and paint and then go. The American president promised several times to solve the Palestinian issue. And you are here in town and you see the situation didn't change. It was around 15 years ago that Israel began building the wall, which now cuts deep into Palestinian towns and villages. Israel calls it a necessary security barrier, but in 2004, an advisory board at the International Court of Justice declared it illegal, and Palestinians say it's only there to help Israel grab more land. The wall has since drawn artists, including Banksy, to highlight the Israeli occupation, but visitors say the new works have little to do with the Palestinian cause. Art like this that kind of reflects internal issues in other countries or global issues that aren't, aren't concerned here, I think the wall risks at becoming kind of a street art gallery rather than actually uh, politicizing what it's about. Lush Sucks is currently asking followers on social media which famous figure he should paint next, and suggestions so far include WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. But those involved in the conflict say that as inspiring as they may be on a global level, these new themes only serve to immortalize the wall and sap the energy out of the Palestinian cause. Ben said, TRT World.